Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Hello, Sandra. Hello, Jamile. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello, so, good evening. How are you, teacher? I'm very well. Thank you. And you, how are you tonight, Jamile? I'm fine. Thank you. That's great. How was your day today? Mm. Um, a little tired. Okay, it was tired. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. You have a very busy day today. So, but yes. this is Wednesday. Estamos en la mitad de la semana, right? Okay. <laughs> is it? Teacher, eh, una, eh, una consulta. Eh, fíjense de que estuve desarrollando lo de la sección. Eh, cuando explica el I have, I has, eh, la contracción, pero eh, fíjense que casi no lo entendí. Eh, tal vez si me lo pudiera, si lo pudiera ampliar cuando ya nos toque esa, esa sección, porque es la sección 5. Ah, no okay. sé si todos irían por esa, entonces, pero, porque eso sí, sí lo contesté, pero no me quedó muy claro. Muy bien, so don't worry, we are going to start tomorrow, I guess, with the section number five. So yeah. we are going okay. to study that topic, right? And we are going to study okay, in detail you, how to use a have and has. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the better have, right? Okay, so we can see that, that topic tomorrow. Is it okay? Yes, okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So welcome to the class and let... Hello, Sandra, how are you? And Edwin Antonio, how are you tonight? Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. I'm good, teacher. Thank you for asking. Great. It's nice to know that you are good. So the last two classes we have been talking about describing people. Do you remember an adjective to describe physical appearance? We have been learning how to describe physically to a person. So do you remember an adjective? And let's start with this question. Which verb do we use to describe physical appearance? The verb we use are have and is the verb be. Okay, excellent. So we use the verb to be and also the verb have, right? Para decir ella es, él es, ellos son. Y si ellos tienen alguna característica, como ojos azules, por ejemplo. ¿Cómo digo, Jamilet tiene los ojos azules? ¿Cómo diría esta oración? Can you tell me, please, to say that sentence in English? Jamilet tiene los ojos azules. She is blue eyes, is it correct? Or she has blue eyes. What is the right sentence? She is blue eyes. She is blue eyes. Okay, in this case, we use has. She has blue eyes. She has blue eyes. She has blue eyes. Excellent. If I want to say Edwin is alto, can you help me to make that sentence in English? Edwin is tall, or Excellent. he is tall. He is tall or Edwin is tall. That is an excellent answer. Thank you. Excellent sentence. Thank you. If I want to say Cristina is esbelta y atractiva. Do you remember the subjective? Lean and then you say she is lean and Attractive. This is attractive. <clears throat> that is physical appearance. Ahora, si quiero decir que Jennifer es muy enojada, that is emotional description, right? 
esto, ¿cómo diría Jennifer? Es enojada. ¿Cuál verbo necesitamos? She is very angry. Okay, then we need the verb to be. She is very angry. She is very angry. Si quiero decir Hoffman es muy serio. The adjective is serious. She is very seriously or serious. Serious. Because seriously is the um, adverbio seriamente. Okay. Then serious. He is He's very serious. serious. Okay, so tonight we are going to continue studying physical description and we are going to learn some other questions about how to describe people. So let's start with this topic. But before to go to the nice topic, do you have any question about the platform? Jamilet has one, right? How to use the very have and has. That is the section number five. So we are going to study this topic tomorrow. Uh, Anyone has a question about the platform exercises? No question. Is everything okay with those exercises? Please don't forget to complete the section number four, right? For this week, we need to complete that section. So don't forget about section number four. If you are working in section number five or taking final exam, that is a great skill. So let's go with this describing people. That is the topic for tonight. Let me share it with you, the presentation. Okay, so describing people is the topic for tonight. Let's start with this. This is the lesson objective. I need a volunteer to read tonight's lesson objective for one. One volunteer, please. Yes, one. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Yami. Thank you, Jamilet. It is only read, but. Yes, right. Yes, okay. Yes. Lesson. Okay. Lesson objective. Is this a session? session? You will learn how to describe, ask, and answer, answer questions about appearance. Thank you so much. Appearance. The last word, appearance. Appearance. Yes. So let's go. Let's go with this. Describing people. Uh, are you able to see this picture? It's a little bit difficult to see, but let's try it. So describing people, general appearance. For a general appearance, we use this question. What does he look like? Or what does he look like? What does he look like? What does he look like? Then we start describing. In this case, does she? What does she look like? She is tall with red hair. She is gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? That is another question with the auxiliary do. Interperson does. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a verb. So, yes, and he has a verb. See, sí, tiene verb. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30. About means cerca de. She's about 32 years. It's about 32. Anda por los 32 años. Calculando. She's about 20. She's about 18. She's about 45. And she is in. Ella está en sus 30. She is in her 30s. She's in her 20s. She's in her 40s. She's in her 50s. And the question is how old? How old is she? How old is she? Uh, we have the other one here. How old is he? He is in his 20s. What about height? It says, how tall is he? That is the question. Para preguntar qué tan alta es una persona, we use how tall is she? Then the one, she is 1 meter 80, 88. She is 6 feet 2. How tall is he? 
let's see, in case it is a man, so you say, how tall is he? He is quite short. Él es un poco pequeño. No es muy alto, but he is quite short. Hair. To ask about hair, how long is her hair? How long is her hair? ¿Qué tan largo es su cabello? It's medium length. It's medium length. It's short. It's long. What color is his hair? What color? It's dark, light brown. Sorry, it's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. So we use this question for physical appearance. To the first one is a general question. What does she look like? Then the other one is about age, how old, then height, how tall, and about hair. How long is her hair and what color is his or her hair? So let's see this in an example. Let me see this. Okay, physically, what does he look like? What does he look like? Eight, how old is he? How old is he? How old are they? About height, how tall is he? How tall is she? How tall are they? Those are the questions. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Okay. Now let's see a look at this answer. What do you think is the question? If the answer is my sister is 22 years old, what is the question in this exercise? What How is the old question? is your sister? Okay, let's see if you're right. Yes. How old is your sister? That is the question. Then you say, my sister is 22 years old. How tall is she? Excellent. How tall is she? She is 190 centimeters. And number three, she's tall and very good looking. What does she look like? Excellent. What does she look like? She's tall and very good looking. And what about number four? My sister head is medium length. How is her hair? How what? How is or how long is her hair? Okay, how long? How long is your sister hair? How long is your sister hair? My sister hair is medium length. I am 40 years old. What was the question? Or what is the question? How old are you? Yes, how old are you? And number six, they are nice, beautiful, and very tall. Um, number six, do you have any idea? Uh, how are they? They look? No. Okay, how are they? Look? Uh, no, what do they look like? Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, how do they look like? Perfect. That is the question. How do they look like? They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. And the last one, how tall is he? He is one, 180 centimeters. Is it correct, the question number six? Question number six, is it correct? How do they look like? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, let's start practicing this question and answer. I need two volunteers who want to practice. Volunteer. Me, teacher. Me. Okay, I have a list and. Me, teacher. Carlos, okay, Carlos, can you please ask the question? And Eulisa, can you please read the answer? So let's practice, please. Let's start. How old is your sister? 
My sister is 22 years old. How tall is she? She's 190, how do you say centimeters? Centimeters. Centimeters. What does she look like? She's tall and very good looking. How long is your sister hair? My sister hair is medium length. How old are you? Um, 14 years old. How do they look like? They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. How tall is he? He is 100. Sorry, I, how do you say? 80. 80. 80. 100. 180 centimeters. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, Carlos, you read the question and also the answer. Now let's listen. Eulise, I need another volunteer to practice with Eulise. Thank you, Carlos. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any other volunteer to practice with Eulise, please? I need one. Any volunteer to practice in this question and answer? Me, teacher, Yami. Okay, thank you, Yamilet. So, Eulisa, can you please read the question and Yamilet the answers, please? Okay. How is your sister? My sister is 22 years old. How tall is she? She, uh, excuse me, teacher, uh, and these answers, uh, o sea, dice one meter y después los centímetros. Y yes, oh. if you want, if you want, you can, uh, you can use that option, so one meter and oh. 90 centímetros, or 190 okay. centímetros. Uh, well, she's one meter and 19 centímetros. Centímetros, ¿verdad? Centímetros. Yes. Mm -hmm. What does what does she look like? She's tall and very good looking. How how long is your sister hair? My sister hair is medium length. How old are you? I am 40 years old. How do they look like? They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. How tall is he? He is one meter. Uh, 80? Excuse me, 80 centimeters. Okay, thank you so much, Eulise and Jamilet. Very good job. Let's go with the next one. In this part, we're going to listen to some description. And I have the question, what does Brian look like? How old is he? Does he have a mouth size? What color is his hair? And how tall is he? Then we are going to listen and then we are going to answer this question. So let's listen, pay attention to the answer. You can take notes, right, with the answer. Uh, let's see. What does Brian look like? What is the meaning of this question? What does Brian look like? What's the meaning of the question? It is general appearance, right? Como luce Brian. How old is he? Eh, that tiene, does he has a mustache? And what color is his hair? Tiene el ombligo escote. Y qué color es su cabello? And how tall is he? Qué tan alto es él? So let's listen. Sorry. One, I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Okay, what does Brian look like? Do you have the answer, guys? Uh, Brian look, look looking or good, good looking? looking. 
Okay, Brian is good looking. How old is he? You want to listen Can again? Read? Yes, please, teacher. Okay, let's listen again. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Okay, now how old is he? He's 30 years. He's 30. Okay, he's about 30, thank you. Does he have a mustache? Yes, he has. Okay, yes, he does. Yes, he does. What color is his hair? He has. He has brown hair. Thank you so much. He has brown hair. And how tall is he? How tall is he? Do you have the answer? So let's listen the last time. One. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Do you have the answer for the last one, number five? How tall is he? How tall is he? He's very tall. He's very tall, okay, let's see if you're one. right. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Okay, nice, I get the answer. So what does Brian look like? Brian is good looking. How old is he? He is about 30. Uh, does he have a mustache? Yes, he does. What color is his hair? He has dark brown hair. How tall is he? He is pretty tall. Those are the answers. So I need to volunteer to practice reading this question and this answer, please. Any volunteer? If not volunteer, I'm going to pick somebody. So. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Carlos Vladimir. Any other volunteer? I have Vladimir and I need another volunteer. Who wants to practice? Nobody wants hey, to Grisha. practice. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Grisha. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help, guys. So, Vladimir, read the question and Grisha the answer, please. Okay, teacher. What does Brian look like? Brian is look good looking. How old is he? He's about 30. Does he have a mustache? Yes, he does. What color is his hair? He has dark brown hair. How tall is he? He's pretty tall. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carlos Vladimir and Cristia. Excellent job in this part. Let's see. Let's go with the second listening. How old is Tina? How long is her hair? What color is her hair? Does she wear contact lenses? Is her hair straight? Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta? No questions about these five questions. Contact lenses. No teacher, example. no question. No question. Contact lenses, for example. What is the meaning of that? Does she wear contact lenses? What's the meaning? Or oh, in Spanish, what is the meaning of contact lenses? Lente de contacto. Nice, thank you, Yamilet. So let's listen. Two. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Okay, question number one. How old is Tina? How old is Tina? Or do you want to listen again? 
you want to listen again? Yes, please, because I forgot it. <laughs> okay, let's listen again. Two. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. How old is Tina? 18. Tina is 18. Thank you so much. How long is her hair? How long is her hair? I think it's short, curly hair, red hair. Okay, you say red. That is the answer for number three. What color is her hair? Yes, it's red. How long is her hair? Say short. It's okay. So does she wear contact lenses? Yes, just for fun. Okay, yes, for fun. Is her hair straight? Is tu cabello liso? Yes, no, it it's is. curvy. Curly. No, no, it isn't. It's curly. So, how long is her hair? It isn't short. So let's Two. See. Tina's yeah, 18. Sorry. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Okay, so now she does in number four. No necesita lentes de contacto. La de ella no utiliza lentes, pero por diversión nada más. So how old is Tina? She's 18. How long is her hair? Her hair shoulder length. Uh, what color is her hair? Her hair is red. Does she wear contact lenses? No, she doesn't. Uh, number five, is her hair straight? No, it isn't. It's curly. Let's go with the listening number, listening number three. Here we go. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Four. Um, okay, listen again. Second ten. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Four. What color is rosy hair? What color is rosy hair? Did you leave them? How old is she? How tall is she? The blonde. The blonde. Okay, she has blonde hair. She has blonde hair. How old is she? How old is she? Didn't you listen to the answer? Okay, let me show you. Three. Rosie is pretty. Here are the answer. What color is Rosie hair? She has blonde hair. How old is she? She's 10. How tall is she? She's pretty tall. Does she wear contact glasses? Yes, she does. And is her hair long? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to practice in these five questions, please. Two tiers. One, two. Me, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. And Ana. Thank you, Ana. So, Ana, can you please read the question and Carlos the answer, please? Can you please read the question? Las preguntas y Carlos la respuesta. What color is rosy hair? She has blonde hair. How old is she? She's 10. How tall is she? She is pretty tall. Does she wear contact glass? Yes, she does. Is her hair long? Yes, it's it. It is. Yes, it is. Thank you so much, Ana and Carlos. Okay, let's go. We're almost to finish the listening part. Let's go with the next one. Uh, can you please listen to this? How old is Tina? How tall is Tina? 
It is her lung. Just three questions. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. How old is Tim? Let's listen the second time. Four. 23. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Okay, how old is Tim? About 23. Excellent. So how tall is Tim? He's very short. Very short? Yes. And is his hair long? Yes, it is. Very, no, it isn't. Very long. Okay, very long. No, it isn't, teacher. No, it isn't. Okay, let's take the answer. He's about 23. <laughs> He's a fairly short and no, it isn't. Él es un poco bajo de estatura. Es un poco pequeño. Tiene cerca de los 23. Y no, su cabello no es largo. No, it isn't. And let's go with the last one. Five. What does Alice look like? How long is her hair? What color is her hair? And how old is she? Let's listen. This is the last listening. Five. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. What does Alice look like? General appearance. What does Alice look like? She's tall and I think it's beautiful because the person says that she looks like a model. Great answer. Thank you. How long is her hair? How long is her hair? It's very tall. Very tall. Long. Very long. Very short. Let's listen again. And what color is her hair? Five. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. How long is her hair? Very long. Okay, very long. What color is her hair? Black. Black, excellent. How old is she? 25. 25. Excellent. Five. Okay. Alice is very. Oh, sorry. Here are the answer. What does Alice look like? She's very slim. How long is her hair? She, her hair is long. And what color is her hair? Her hair is black. And how old is she? She's around 25. Okay, do you have any question? No question? No teacher. Okay, let's practice this question. Hosman, what does your father look like? General appearance, what does your father look like? Then you say he is. Hello? Osman, can you listen to me? Sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. What does your father look like? Mm. No. Okay, you say he is tall. Okay. He okay. Is, yeah. He is short. He is a tall. Okay, he's tall. Very good. He's tall. He's Thank you. So let's go with Damilet. How old is your mother, Damilet? Hello, Damilet. How old is your mother? She has. Yeah. 15 years. Okay, she is. She is. She is 50 years old. Thank you. She, she is 50 years old. Así es. Yes. 
she is six years old. Uh, let's see, Evelyn, does your mother wear contact lenses? Sorry, teacher. Does your mother wear contact lenses? Mm, are not. Does your mother wear contact lenses? Who wants to help Evelyn? What is the meaning of that question? No, she doesn't. Okay, no, she doesn't. Oh, yes. Or, yes, she does. Thank no, you. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with the class. And when we are using adjectives to describe people, we can follow this order. Para utilizar los adjetivos en una sola oración, podemos hacerlo. Hemos estado aprendiendo a hacer descripciones, pero oración por oración. Por ejemplo, Jamilet has short hair, Jamilet has black hair, Jamilet has uh, curly hair, then digo tres oraciones, pero podemos decir esos adjetivos en una sola oración, pero necesitamos seguir el siguiente orden. Este es el orden en el cual vamos a utilizar los adjetivos. Eh, we need opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and purpose. En este orden van a ir en una oración. When describing people, you need to worry about your opinion, the person's size, age, shape, color, and origin. So look at this sentence. Vamos a utilizar este orden, size, shape, and color. Then she has long, that is the size, shape. La forma del cabello, straight, curly, spike, so wavy. She has long, dry, black hair. And finally, we use the color. So first, size, el tamaño, shape, la forma, luego el color. She has long, straight, black hair. En una sola oración, ya no tengo que decir, she has long hair. She has straight hair. She has black hair. Lo digo en una sola oración. She has long, straight, black hair. Let's look at the next example. She has short, curly, brown hair. Do you have any question about this? Question? Yes, teacher. What's the meaning? Shape? Shape is la forma. La forma okay, thank primero. You, teacher. Tamaño, forma y color. So, order of the adjective. He's a handsome, tall, slim, young American man. ¿Cuál sería el orden correcto? ¿Cuál sería el orden correcto de esos adjetivos? Primero tengo que buscar opinión. Sería, ¿cuál es su opinión acerca de este chico? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo que da una opinión general de él? Pistol. Handsome. Handsome. Handsome, muy bien. Luego iría el tamaño, size. Tall. Tall. Tall, muy bien. Luego va la... Tall en shape. Luego va la edad, age. Age. No. Young. 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 Luego va shape. Va la forma. Slim. Slim. Y por último, origin. Su origen, ¿verdad? American. 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 Entonces, ¿cómo American se man. La oración correcta sería... He is a handsome, so handsome, tall, tall, young, young, slim, slim, American man.
Lean American Men. ¿Cuántas oraciones nos ahorramos ya describiendo a este chico? ¿Cuántas hubieran sido? He's handsome, he's tall, he's lean, he's young, he's American. So, like five sentences, right? So, we can say all those adjectives in a sentence, but we need to follow the order of the adjective. Do you have any question? Okay, no question, then let's continue. Second, here we go. Let's look at this adjective. This is an attractive, medium height, slender, young Colombian woman. Is it correct? Is that correct? No, not correct. Okay, what is the right order of this adjective? She is Colombian. She, mm, she is an athletic. Uh, medium. Medium height. Medium height. Young. Young. No, is Colombian. She's attractive, medium high, young, slender Colombian woman. Okay, that's young, right? It's before it's slender. So he is an attractive, medium height. Then John, right? John. John. Glender. Colombian woman. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go with the name. Other physical characteristics, right? Um, okay, look at this word here. We can describe physical appearance with these other physical characteristics. So let me write those sentences here. And let's go green cold. Green cold. What are green colds? Green colds. Do you have any idea what did I? What are they? Sorry, what are they? Green coat. What are a green coat? Do you have green coat? Okay, no teacher. Arrugas. That is the meaning of the first word. Freakless. Do you have freakless? No, I freakless? don't have. Freakless means pecas, no? Pecas, yes. What about mole? Do you have mole? 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 Spot? Lunaris. Lunaris. Then for the color of the skin, we can use pale skin, brown skin, dark skin, fair skin. Tan, light skin, and oh, brown again. So those are the colors that we use to describe the color of the skin. Pale, brown, dark, fair, tan, light, and brown. Do you have any question about this word? What is the meaning of tan, light? Tan, light is como un bronceado claro. Las personas and pequeñas. Pale? Fair mm -hmm. is blanco. Fair. Oh. Fair and pale is the same, no? Yes. Okay. We can use both to describe. Teacher, what is the meaning of freakless? Freakless. Pecas. Pecas. 
and green clothes. Arruga. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No questions in this part? Teacher, one question, what's the meaning fair? Fair, the um, white color. Fair skin. Excuse me? Ah, uh, uh, fair. Es color blanco, es blanco, cualquier de color blanco, fair. Any other question? Okay. Um, no question, teacher. No more question. Let's okay. okay, let's practice in this part. Is can you please describe in one sentence this this man? He's from Mexico. Siguiendo el orden de los adjetivos, podemos describirlo en una sola oración. Primero va opinión. ¿Cuál sería un adjetivo de opinión? So we say he is. He is. He is very short. Ok, short sería size. Sería el segundo. He is good looking. Ok, excelente. Good looking. He is good looking. Then we have size. We say fairly short. The next is young A. Instead of young, which other adjective or which other phrase can we use? Mm, about 20. About 20, okay. He is a good looking for a short. And let's write John. The object is here. John, because about 20, it is a preposition and the number, so we can use it here, but thank you. John, then we have shave. Shave. Okay. Her body build. Is he muscular? Is he slim? Is he thin? Is he skinny? Is he fat? Slender. Slender, okay, it's slender. Slender. Then we have origin. And um, Mexican man. Okay, Mexican man. That's it. He's good looking. He is a he's a good looking for the short young slender Mexican man. Okay, we have then let's go with the last. The last, and then we're going to practice. Soon okay, we go with the next picture. Tell me to describe her. Sorry. Oh my God. He is. He is. Pretty. Okay, she is pretty. She is pretty. Then we have size. Is shoey. Chubby. Chubby. Age. Young. Okay. Okay, here in Kate is his chubby. In size, sería si es alta o pequeña. ¿Cuál sería un adjetivo para describir a esta persona? 
fairly short. Fairly short. Um, right. Fairly short. Two, fairly short, John, Fabi, and the key, what is next? Origin. De donde creen que sea ella. She's pretty, fairly short, John, Fabi, and... Colombian girl. Colombian. Salvadorian girl. <laughs> Salvadorian, it could be. Okay, now we are going to go to the breakout rooms and we are going to discuss the next question. Let's see. Okay. Do you have a sister or a brother? What does your brother look like or a sister? What does your brother look like? Or what does your sister like? We are going to discuss this. Does your sister or brother does your sister or brother have long hair? That is a yes, no question. Does your sister or brother wear contact lenses? We're going to discuss this, right? So the first one is general appearance. The next one is a yes, no question. Does your sister or brother have, have long hair? And does your sister or your brother wear contact lenses? You can use another question that he has a mouth, for example. Does she, does she has curly hair? So you can discuss this question with your classmates. Are you ready? Is it clear what we are going to do? We have six minutes to complete this activity. What does your sister or brother look like? What does your sister, oh sorry, does your sister or your brother have long hair? Does your sister wear contact lenses? Does your brother wear contact lenses? Does he has muscles? Does he has curly hair? Vamos a discutir esas preguntas con sus compañeros, please. ¿Están listos? Yes. 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 Okay, here we go. You have six minutes to complete this. Here we go. Oh, okay, Samuel, don't worry. And Jennifer, do you have a problem to enter to the breakup room with your classmates? Hello, Jennifer, do you have any question? Can I help you, Jennifer?
¿Cuál era la última pregunta que dejó a medias? Eh, wear contact lens, pero pues que si usaba lentes de contacto, pero no, no logré eh, unir la pregunta, unir las palabras para poder hacer esta pregunta. ¿va? No sé cómo sería aquí. Da, eh, porque solo como para preguntar si usa lentes de contacto. Sería. Hello, Yamile. Then Alexis, do you have a question? Can I help sí, you? Sí, no, no notamos las, las últimas dos preguntas. <laughs> las okay. últimas preguntas no las anotamos. Does your sister or your brother wear uh -huh. contact ah, lenses? Does your sister. Does your sister or so your wear brother wear contact, contact lenses? Lens. Lenses, lenses. Ajá. En esas, en esas finalizaban las preguntas, ¿verdad? Yes. O había otra. Ah, okay. No, that is the last one. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Well, Voy a preguntarle eh, ahora entonces. Uh -huh. entonces. What does your sister look like? Mm. She looking. Ya contesta. Eh, she is. She, she, she is very slim. She is beautiful. Oh, she is, yes, yes, she is beautiful. She oh, is slim. She is slim. She is tall. She is tall. She is short. Sí. She is tall. She is tall. Con esas tres es suficiente. Uh -huh. She's beautiful, she's a lean, she's tall. Okay. Okay. Uh, what does your brother like, look like? Uh, he's um, very... Un poquito bajito. Fa short. Fairly short. He's right. fairly short. Does your sister long hair? Does your sister long hair? Mm, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, she does. Yes, she does. Right. Uh, does your sister wear contact lenses? Mm, no, she doesn't. Así es. Sí. Así está perfecto. Bye. Okay. Eso sería todas las preguntas. Ok, muchas gracias, muy amable. Ok, thank you. See you in a minute. Adiós. Hello, Alexis. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Yamile. Hello, Jennifer. Did you finish your party? Yeah, we finished. Okay, that's great. Okay, do you have any questions about the night class? Oh, this is good for me, teacher. No question. Okay, if you have any questions. Thank you so much for being here. Good night. Nice. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. My teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good night.